gonna start off by disconnecting the battery. It's important to disconnect the battery before you do anything else because if the battery is connected, it can short circuit the motherboard or damage any other parts. So you wanna flip the unit over and loosen up the bottom cover screws. Now that the bottom cover screws are loosened, you can take your spudger and remove the bottom cover. you can disconnect the battery from the motherboard. Now that the battery is disconnected, you can remove all of the screws inside of the palm rest. Now that all of the screws are removed, you can start removing the internal parts. Remove the battery. You can remove the stylus cap. You can disconnect the stylus cable and remove it with the stylus board. Disconnect the speakers and remove. And remove the other speaker. can disconnect the USB ribbon and remove it with the USB board. Remove the Wi-Fi card. Now you can disconnect any other cables or ribbons connected to the motherboard. So the touchpad ribbon and the LCD cable. And then carefully remove the motherboard and flip it over so that you can remove the keyboard ribbon from underneath of the motherboard. Now that all of the internal parts are removed from the palm rest, you can remove the palm rest by lifting it up and removing it. Now you can take your new palm rest and start putting it back in by flipping it over and lining it up with the hinges. Once the hinges are lined up, you can put the palm rest back down and put all of the internal parts back into the palm rest. Grab the motherboard and flip it over to the back side so that you can reconnect the keyboard ribbon.
the keyboard ribbon is reconnected, you can carefully put the motherboard back into place. And you can grab the Wi-Fi card. And reconnect that into the motherboard. The wires for the Wi-Fi card get put into these placeholders. Now you can reconnect the touchpad ribbon and the LCD cable. Now you can grab the USB board and carefully put that back into place and reconnect the USB ribbon back into the motherboard. You can grab the one speaker and put it back on the same side that it got removed from. And reconnect it to the USB board. And then the other speaker, putting it back on the same side it got removed from and reconnecting it to the motherboard. Now you can grab your stylus board with the stylus cable and put it back into the slot right underneath of the speaker. and loop the cable around the clips. And reconnect it to the motherboard. Then you can grab the stylus cap. and put that back at the bottom. And now you can grab your battery and put that back into place, but do not reconnect it. Now that all of the internal parts are back into place and reconnected, we can put the screws back in. Now to reconnect the battery, just want to take the battery cable and reconnect it into the motherboard and put the bottom cover back on. Once the 
bottom cover's back on, now you can tighten the screws back up. And then to verify the repair, flip the unit back over, open it up. Plug in the AC adapter and hold the power button on the side. And if the LCD turns on, then that means the replacement was successful. And if you would like to check to see if the battery is working, unplug the unit. And if it stays on, then that means that the battery is working. So now you can shut the unit down.